we're heading in and we're just picking up speed. We are like a runaway train going downhill through the Cumberland Pass without brakes. And if you are not with us, you are against us, just stay out of the way because we will run you down. That's what's going on on Tenacious Thursday. Mr. Turner, the call is yours. All right, y'all. Today's Tenacious Thursday. We getting it in. We can hear you live. We could have made excuses, but we chose not to. You know, you can make excuses or you can make money, but you can't do both. Something's got to give. So, yeah, it's Tenacious Thursday. We getting in. Maybe you can put Marika on speaker for the people who want to hear him. We're in Louisville, Kentucky on a 16 city road tour. I see you, Newman Thomas. I, I see you. I'm feeling phenomenal. I'm feeling great. I'm in my home state right now. I always love coming here. I love coming here and seeing the beautiful right. people. Yes, sir. We are well, here we need tonight. Mariko, so he's ready. Yeah, Let's talk to the people for me. Like hey, Charnel. How are you doing? Hey, Newman. Hey, y'all. We're about to get it in. We're in St. Louis today. Are we in St. Louis? Sorry. We're in Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> We're in Louisville, Kentucky. When you run like this, you got to sort of try to remember where you are. We're, we're going to Kentucky. We're going to the fair. To see the senorita with <laughs> flowers in her hair. Today, we're talking about opportunity. And y'all, listen, we're not as suited and booted as we sometimes are. And that's okay. You know, we could have made an excuse today. I could have made an excuse today about why I can't get on this call. I could have told you I was tired because we got in at 2.30 this morning. But champions show up. When everybody else is making an excuse about why they can't do it, why they can't get something done, champions just do it. I tell you all all the time about samurai. Don't you know samurai don't have a word in their vocabulary that means excuse? They don't have a word. that, that the, It's not in their vocabulary. If a samurai tells you or tells you that he's going to be someplace at a particular time, he's going to be there. He will not show up with an excuse. If he's got to leave at 4 in the morning to get someplace for 10 or leave the day before and sleep in his car, he's going to show up. But I got to tell you, we're greater than samurais. We show up. And we do it for people who we have never met. We are doing it so people can get financial freedom. Just a few days ago, we rolled out a program. We rolled out a program where we are helping people finance their business. And because God has been good to us and gracious to us, we know that there's a lot of brown-skinned people out there that y'all ain't never getting on Shark Tank. Nobody ever going to call you in and say, I want to give you $50,000 to help your business or $70,000 to help your business. Well, guess what? We your Shark Tank now. We're going to help finance your business. We're going to give you the money that you need when you need it. And we're going to give you the money on terms that make sense, where you don't have to be hiding out and people showing up with baseball bats. We're going to give you the, the money that you need, even if you can't get it from a traditional bank, even if you file bankruptcy, even if you don't have a perfect credit score. We want to give you a chance to win. So that's just one of the many things that we're doing. You know, we, we started a partnership. Some of y'all know we have 43 friends that are brown skinned like some of y'all on this call. And they're millionaires. They're multimillionaires. But guess what? God is expanding our circle. It's getting bigger and bigger. And we have a $750 million friend who just came into play. He says, I want to play. <laughs> I want to play. I, I have money to give away to try to help some people become successful. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that this afternoon. Um, and if you guys know anybody who has a business and they need to get new paint, new computers, new systems, new employees, and they want to upgrade what they have, we have money available. If you, if you are part of a nonprofit or a church, a nonprofit or a church, and y'all need some money for the building fund, you want to expand the, the wing of the church and add a, a, a school to the church, you want to add a gymnasium to the church, you're part of a nonprofit and you guys are able to generate revenue, but just not enough revenue to sort of do the mission that you guys have at hand, then contact us. I'll put my number 
into the system. Uh, good morning, Andrew, from the Bahamas, Cheyenne. Uh, good, to, good to see you out there. Kat, Catherine, good to see you out there. We getting it in. We getting it in. Mel Tona, Charnel, Newman Thomas. We just left Minnesota. We left Minnesota and we did an event. Well over 100 people showed up. I mean, it was so many people. They rolled out into the hallway. 90, almost 90 uh, of the people who were there at our event were guests. People who had never seen me before. We had never talked to them before. And they're joining our business in droves. Opportunity is coming your way. Some of y'all have been sitting around hoping for it, wishing for it, and praying for it. But it's here, right now, today. We're going to offer you guys an opportunity to become involved in a multi-million dollar opportunity. So now you got no excuses. You can't blame your boss no more. You can't blame your mama no more. You can't blame nobody else anymore if you're not successful. We're going to give you a chance, and we're willing to work with you. If you're listening to this call or you're watching this video and you're already in the business and you don't have the support that you need, we're going to support you. We're going to support you. We're going to train you. We're going to help you. We did a bunch of three-way calls yesterday for a whole lot of people. Some of them I ain't never heard from them before. And now we're showing up in 16 cities. We'll be in a city near you over the next 14 days. So when we come to your city, you come out and represent. And if you can get out of guests, I'll send you home with a new business partner. Listen, I'm going to get you guys back to the call today. It's already in progress. And when it's my turn, I'll talk to you some more. I'm grateful that you guys took a minute to get on this call with us. Let's go ahead and make 1,000 brown skin millionaires. Is that all right? Let that be our goal. Let that be our calling. Because if 1,000 of us can become millionaires, we can, we can pull our money together, pull our resources together, and now we got a billion dollars to invest. We got a billion dollars so we can put our kids in the school without Sally Mae. We got a billion dollars to invest so we can buy a house without Freddie Mae or Freddie Mac. We got a billion dollars to invest so we can do whatever we need to do to build this nation. It is a financial revolution. We don't need a handgun. We need a checkbook. Is that all right? By any means necessary, let's accomplish the financial goals that we have in store. Without any further ado, I'm going to turn the turn this webcam back over to, are you on? to my good friend Mariko Turner. If he's still on, we're in Louisville, Kentucky to tonight. And Ray Hendrickson is here with me. We call him the sensei. And I'm telling you, he breaks it down just like that. So we're ready. You guys ready? All right, we're going to turn it back over. Uh -oh. and, like that's okay. and there we are. That's quite all right. That's quite all right. These things happen, but that's why we have a team. That's why we have a team. Right? If you heard my brother, my friend, my pal, my mentor, National Director Ray Hendrickson, he told me, don't worry about this. You know what? I love when God does things like this because it lets me know that he's in the midst. And that just told me that he wanted me to switch up what I was about to talk about today. So this is for him. He wants me to talk about being covered. He wants me to talk about somebody having your back. Somebody having you, you that? no one else does. Someone who's going to so be serious. there closer than a brother. I heard Thomas Felder see this the other day. He said, you know, a friend who's like a you know, a, a, a good friend who's like a brother is, is, is closer than you said a spouse. I think it's in the Bible. I'm not, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Feldman, please correct me later on, sir. But he said that he, that way she just said to myself, are so close to him that we're closer than brothers to him. Like, we're like, we're like, we're like we are his brothers. How many of you all have people who would just pick up and drive? 
proper? Who has your back? Who's standing, who's, who's right by your side? You remember the, the, the song by Benny King, Stand By Me? My mother used to sing that song all the time. I, I, I truly believe that was one of her favorite songs, Stand By Me. Who's standing by you? Who's there to support your journey? Who's there to help you get through the tough times? <laughs> your boss isn't. Your co-workers are there for you more than your, than your boss. But guess what? Doesn't matter if they're there for you if you are not there for each other and fighting for financial freedom. I love this list that we're in. And I don't love it just because of, of the money. The money is great, don't get me wrong. But I love it because of the people that I'm around. It doesn't get better than Platinum Senior Vice President Thomas Felder. It doesn't get better than National Director Ray Kendrickville. It doesn't get better than Tupac, the chairman of the board, the Ray Court. It doesn't get better than this. I'm finding the best friends of my life in this business. People who are stand-up people. Men, who, men and women who do what they say they're going to do. They keep their word. But not only that, they stand by me through sick and thin, right or wrong. They're there for you. If I listen, these gentlemen drove 13 hours. They were in St. Louis first, drove to Minnesota, and then drove 13 hours to Louisville, Kentucky. Just to help me and my business partners here build our business. And I know they're exhausted. I know they are. They came anyway. How many people do you have in your life are willing to do that for you? How many people do you have in your life that are willing and just genuinely want to help you? They genuinely want to be there for you. And before you can even walk out of their, their, their presence, they'll ask you, are your pockets okay? How are you selling? Do you need anything? How can I help? I've got you covered. I've got your back. Do you need a ride? Is everything okay? Who's, who, who's asking you that on a daily basis? Ask yourself the question. Who's asking me that? Who has you covered? Now listen, I, I, know many wrong, I know people say it's better to give than to receive. Wrong. It's better to give and to receive. And it's better to receive than to give again. It's not 50-50. It's not 100-100. It's not give and take. It's give and you both give. Because it's all for the taking. So listen, I don't want to hold this up any longer because listen, I'm about to hop on my ride. And I got two gentlemen who come to my hometown to lay it down flat like clothes on a hot iron board. And I want to put them on the phone right now. Because the first gentleman knows 100% about what it takes to succeed in business. I have a tremendous amount of respect for this guy. He literally spends his days driving up and down the highway with my other friend to help people just like me and you earn a bump average income. And we are having a lot of fun doing it. And we're going to turn up the night. So let me bring to the phone my friend, my brother, my mentor, and my pal. I love this guy. I introduce you all, top producing, top training, five-figure earner, his first 30 days, national director, soon to be senior vice president, right away, the sensei pitcher. Sir, are you all alive? Mr. Turner, I am live and direct from your family's living room. Yes, my friend, I am on the line. Can you hear me okay? Wow, I appreciate that. I've been called a lot of things. Angel has never been one of them. But I will take it <laughs> as a huge compliment coming from you, and I appreciate it, man. We are literally saving lives. So if that's what angels do, then I accept the charge. Look, we've been on the, on the road for the last two weeks, and uh, we've driven from New York to Maryland probably two or three times, from Maryland to St. Louis, which in and of itself is a 14-hour drive, from St. Louis to Minnesota, which is another 12 to 14-hour drive, from Minnesota to Louisville, Kentucky, which turned out to be another 14-hour <laughs> drive. And so we've been driving 
all over the countryside. And it kind of made me think about the pioneers of days gone by, like the Lewis and Clarks of the world, who started out on the East Coast and with the permission of the government, worked their way across the country in an effort to find the Pacific Ocean. And I can only imagine that as they embarked on their journey, they had no idea what kind of perils lay before them, what the challenges were look, gonna look like, what the natives were going to do, whether they were gonna be hospitable or inhospitable, but they just decided that they were going to create a series of positive memories and along the way, hopefully impact some of the lives that they encountered. So we started out the same way. We started out on faith and we just believe because we're so convicted about the success that we have in time past and the success that we've had in time past is a testament and a testimony of the success that we can have going forward. The difference is this time we're looking to help other people achieve that same level of success. And we believe in that divine principle that says whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And so based on that measure of faith, based on that divine principle, we just are under the staunch belief that if we help enough people live their lives dreams, then heaven and our business has a responsibility and even an obligation to help us live ours. And so we are literally Lewis and Clark 2016. And we are driving up and down the highways, north, south, east, and west, looking for a handful of open-minded, success-oriented, money-motivated, highly ambitious and coachable people. Let me just throw this out there. If you are still alive, and I would take it just presumptuously that by virtue of the fact that you're listening or watching me, you are still alive. We gotta make sure you're not just physically alive, but you are spiritually alive. You are emotionally alive. You haven't decided to put your dreams down. You are not dead in here. There's a divine principle that says, some of us, we get dressed up so nicely, we put on our Sunday's best on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, finest exotic skin shoes, beautiful Prada purses, Gucci shades, ks, ks. We've got the sweet smells and aromas that emanate from our bodies, but inside we're dead like the sepulchers that you'll find in the graveyard. Do you know the moment you stop dreaming is the self same time in instant in time you start dying? I just wanna live it all. I don't wanna look good on the outside and live a quiet life of desperation on the inside. I wanna live this life to its entirety. And so I'm willing to fight for it. And so, yep, we're looking for other like-minded people. There's something about the law of association that many of us don't understand. And I, I'm gonna tell you, if you simply understood, you would probably change the people that you're around starting today. The law of association says, you will unequivocally become the people you surround yourself with. The law of association says winos hang out with winos, thieves hang out with thieves, prostitutes with prostitutes, rich people with rich people, hardworking broke with hardworking broke. Had a conversation yesterday when we were talking about uh, how you define a friend. Let me tell you what heaven's definition of a friend is. A friend is a person that will stick closer than a brother. I got a lot of people that I claim as friends, but when I wanted to change direction, they became obstacles. Well, they're not my friends. My friends make sure my children have food on the table. My friends make sure I have a covering over my head at night. My friends make sure there are no holes in my shoes. They make sure my bills are paid. They make sure my kids' trust funds is being funded. My friends look out for my welfare. My friends are not obstacles. Even if they may not agree with my direction, they stand on the sideline with Gatorade rooting me on to the finish line. Those who are my friends, those are my friends. And if your friends become opposition to you, and you agree to subscribe to their opinion, then you are allowing them to stand between you and the destiny that was programmed into your DNA. So therefore your divine design is being hampered by the people you've decided to surround yourself with. I got rid of every last one of them. None of them was adding value to my life. 
the friends that I have now add value to my life. You want to talk about reciprocity? Whatever you plant is what you get back. If you got negative friends, they spend all their time planting negative information. And that's one of the reasons why you're living the lifestyle you're living now. It's not just you by yourself. In and of itself, you could turn yourself around, but the influences you, the influence that is external to you oftentimes keep you from moving forward because the external influences are greater than your own individual personal influence on yourself. There's always a sale going on. Either you're selling them or they're selling you. So I had to change. I had to change since I was hardworking and broke. I wanted to get wealthy. I wanted to surround myself with wealthy people because if I found a handful of wealthy people willing to teach me and I was willing to learn what they knew and do what they did eventually before too long in a not too distant future, I would have what they have. That's the law of success, ladies and gentlemen. It is divine in nature and in origin. It will therefore work for you. And at that point, once you decide to believe you deserve it, and you decide to believe that you can have it, all you need is a comprehensive test proven plan. And so that's the perfect segue into this business. This business allowed me to reevaluate where my current station in life was, the goals that I had kind of supplanted and taken on what society said I could do. They changed my paradigm. They changed everything about how I thought about my own future. I have the power to create it. But had it not been for my willingness to change my surroundings, to change my influences, to change my friends, I would still be the same old raggedy Ray that I was two and a half years ago. Now I'm a new and improved raggedy Ray <laughs> and I'm on my way to becoming superlative Ray. And you know what's amazing? As you change, your income changes with you. And so my raggedy old self is gonna be rich as Ray soon come. The business opportunity that came my way, and I'm so thankful that heaven was merciful and gracious enough to send it my way, came by way of a friend of mine that I went to school with in the eighth grade. Never thought in a thousand years that that little boy that would play with me in the schoolyard would turn around to be a pivotal character in my life. It's amazing how heaven works. He sets you up for success long before you are ready for it so that when your preparation meets opportunity, success is imminent. Woo! Today is Tenacious Thursday. It just feels like a Freedom Friday. <laughs> and so we lost contact, obviously, from the eighth grade to just recently. But, you know, you got the magic of Facebook. We reconnected two and a half years ago. He said, Ray, we got to talk. He sent me a message on my way out to work one morning. And he said, Ray, do you still keep your eyes open for opportunity to make additional income? This was my friend. This is the guy we used to play stickball together and ring Alivio together and light together and Skelzy together. He called me and asked me if I wanted to make some extra money. And what kind of fool would I be if I said no, knowing I didn't have enough to begin with. And because it was somebody that I trusted, I loved, I admired, I respected, I said, well, show me what you got. He introduced me to this incredible business opportunity through a company called Five Links. Now, I know if you're listening for the first time, perhaps it's the first time you're hearing, hearing this. And I'm okay with that because when it was first put in my lap, it was completely and utterly foreign to me. But in typical fashion, I wanted to do some research. You know, many of us are private eyes. We're, we're detectives. We, wanna, we, we don't know nothing going in, but we want to find a way to know everything before we come out. So I was one of those kinds of people. And I learned, having read books like Think and Grow Rich, that wealthy people don't always concern themselves with the details. They are vision oriented. But you know, Raggedy Ray, I had to learn. So I went and I checked the Federal Trade Commission. Did you know Five Links is governed and sanctioned by the Federal Trade Commission in good standing? I went and checked with the Better Business Bureau. We got an A-plus credit rating with the Better Business Bureau as well. I went and checked with the Direct Sales Association, which lists the nation's fastest growing and top producing direct sales companies. They list the top 100. Did you know that Five Links Enterprises was number 84 on the top 100 direct sales businesses on the planet? 
Did you know that they're the number one corporate business entity in Rochester, New York, beating out companies like Xerox, Paychex, and Bausch and & Lomb? And please forgive me if I'm not in a shirt and tie. I've been driving for the last 36 hours. We just woke up. We got up at 8.30 to do our national call at 8.30, went back to sleep, got up at 11.45 in preparation for this call. Trust me, I clean up pretty good. There's a couple of custom suits upstairs. There's a couple of silk ties upstairs. There's a couple of Tiffany cufflinks upstairs. A couple pair exotic skin shoes and silk socks upstairs. We're going to clean up nice, but I just believe that showing up is half the battle. And so I just wanted to show up. But I'm still, I still got a little something on. I still got a little something on. I still got a little something on. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I just wanted you to know that me dispensing this information is far more important than how I look to you about it. And so after I did my preliminary research, I found that the Better, Better Business Bureau really had high regard for us. I found out that they were featured in the Wall Street Journal, MSNBC News, Your Business from Home Magazine, four times, Success from Home Magazine, five times, Inc. 500, 5,000, nine times. And that's important because the only other company that has done that on North American soil is Microsoft. We're an excellent company, $162 million debt-free company without any of your knowledge or help. Just completed a strategic alliance with a $750 million company, which ensures that we'll be around for another 40 years as we manage our way to a billion dollars. So once I did that preliminary research, I thought, wow, this company is pretty impressive. But there's an awful lot of companies in the network marketing arena. Why network marketing? It's created more millionaires than any other industry in the history of the world. Having come from an engineering background, there were no millionaire engineers that I could point to. And the last 10,000 millionaires came out of network marketing. The next 10,000 millionaires are forecasted to come out of network marketing. Let me ask you a personal question, and I know you may be in your cubicle, you may be in the bathroom stall, you may be hanging around with your colleagues. Don't answer this out loud. How many millionaires are coming out of your industry? Look, if there aren't any coming out of your industry, then financial independence doesn't exist in your industry. That was a rude awakening that hit me like a runaway train. Here I am spending 21 years in school thinking that I was going to be the first brown millionaire in my family tree and the industry that I spent a majority of my time studying don't produce successful people. Yeah, you may be able to have some of, uh, you know, a few shiny objects in life, but we're talking about financial independence. That was my ultimate goal. And so when I started researching network marketing, man, the last 10,000 millionaires and the next 10,000 millionaires, I better get in line. But remember, I told you this. There are 4,200 network marketing companies here in the United States alone. There are 12,500 globally. How do you choose the right one? I'm going to give you a formula for success. I hope you're ready. I hope you're writing this down. I'm going to run through it really quickly. And if you miss it, you might just miss out on your shot. You got to find the right company and you got to find the right company coming out the gate. And so by doing all the preliminary research that I did, I knew it was the right company. But the right company at the wrong time matters none. So I had to find the right company at the right time. Why is Five Links the right time? Because they got started in 2001. Well, you might be thinking, so what? Here's the idea. Average business goes out of business in three to five years. We're around 15 years, and you still haven't heard of us. Guess what that means? Ground floor, turnkey opportunity. That's what it means. $162 million debt-free company. That's what it means. It's also the right time because we're just beginning our international expansion. We're in seven international territories currently, and we're expanding by another five to seven in the next 12 months. It's also the right time because we pay out in stock options because we're privately held. We have the privilege and or luxury to pay out in stock options. And if you know anything about stock options, they make people wealthy overnight. I know that because some of the wealthiest people in America are secretaries and janitors that used to work for Microsoft that used to clean your toilet. So it's the right company at the right time. They move the right products and services. Look, it doesn't matter what multi-level marketing company you're involved in. It doesn't matter if you open your own private business. If the products that you market are not recession proof, stand by. Because when the next recession comes and I can see it on the horizon, you will be negatively impacted. I wanted to get involved in a company that was recession proof. 
Well, not only is this company recession proof, they got involved with at least eight industries that are recession proof. Cable, internet, home phone, cell phone, gas, electricity, home heating oil, and health insurance. No matter what's going on in the national economy or what's going on in your personal economy, you are going to keep the heat on in the winter and you're going to pump the AC on or at least blow a fan in the summer. So those are the industries that we partnered in. And I know there's a whole lot of products and services being offered. The question you need to ask out there in the network marketing abyss is are the products recession proof? If they're not, you are leaving your income at the mercy of the economy and or your customers. Can't afford that. I needed recession proof products and services and we decided to tap into the big eight. Those are eight services that the average consumer considers critical to their daily routine. The other brilliant thing that we've done is we've partnered with all the major players in those industries, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, Nextel, GE, DirecTV, Dish Network, Comcast, Xfinity, Cox, Cablevision, OptOnline, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and about a dozen other companies. We are already in business with the people you pay your bills to. And the reason that we're in business with them is because they're trying to quickly move away from commercial advertising. TV, billboard, radio, direct mail, because it doesn't work, but costs a lot of money. That's why you spend so much every month in bills. And so with the advent of Facebook, Facebook became a billion dollar entity in less than a decade. No commercials, using social media, word of mouth. Guess how we help our business partners get customers? You guessed it, social media, word of mouth. And we promise to help get all of our customers for our business partners for free. Free because once you eliminate commercial advertising, the rates fall dramatically. Now they can push the, push the savings back to you and I, the consumer, which means we save substantially over what we would traditionally pay without five links. So it's a win for our business partners. It's a win for our customers. But watch how it's a win for us. They will pay us 50 cents to $11 for each and every customer every 30 days for the lifetime of that customer. Now, I said, now, wait a minute. My whole life, either me or somebody in my house has been paying for cable, internet, home phone, cell phone, gas, electricity, home heating oil, health insurance. For the rest of my life, I'm going to pay for cable, internet, home phone, cell phone, gas, electricity. I mean, we're going to pay these bills. So if there is an income stream that is already alive, and five links will allow me to step out into the income stream, then I can take as much or as little as I want. Now, I truth be told, I'm a huge skeptic. I don't believe nobody. I don't trust nobody. I don't even like nobody. But I couldn't refute the idea that this money was being made with or without me. I had to give it a shot. I figured if it didn't work, I could always go back to being hardworking and broke. I was pretty good at that. And so I got started. And the first thing I did just to test drive it was to switch services in my own home. I'm not so loyal to AT&T that I'm going to stick with them even if it means saving money. Man, I switched everybody in my house. I switched from name brand companies to name brand companies. I started saving close to $200 a month. Here's my question. If I started saving $200 a month instantly by switching my services, doesn't that in no uncertain terms tell you that I was overpaying by $200 a month? Do you mean to tell me I've been giving away $200 a month for the last 10 years? You mean to tell me I've effectively given away a brand new Honda Civic when I could have recycled that money through my own home? Do you mean to tell me I helped finance the corporate jet and I helped that CEO get another $10 million bonus? I did that. Yep, and so did you. And so by virtue of the fact that mama used to say a penny saved, is a penny earned, I effectively gave myself a $200 a month raise. When was the last time in the last 12, 24 months you got a $200 a month raise? Never or never. And so here's the beauty of that. At the end of the month, even though I was saving substantially, Five Links sent me a check in the mail. And the check was 50 cents to $11 for each and every one of those services that I was already spending money on. So naturally, I got to scratch the head. Scratch it with me. You mean to tell me five links will allow me to get paid to save money on bills that I was going to pay anyway? 
That's insane. But once it started happening to me, I recognized that I had to tell everybody. I couldn't even sleep well, knowing that my friends and family members were overpaying several hundred dollars a month. So I would shoot them a text message. And in the text message, it would say, if I could show you a way to save a few thousand dollars a year on the services you use every day, would you want me to tell you? Do you know over 90% of them said yes? Now watch how simple this is. This is simpler than anything you will ever do over the course of your eight hour work day today. I would simply send them to my website. They would pick the service that they wanted. They pick the service provider that they wanted. They would choose the promotional discounted rate that they wanted. And every time they turned the light on, flushed the toilet, took a shower, cooked a meal, washed a dish, opened a fridge, used the microwave, watched TV, surfed the internet, make a phone call or send a text, I was in the income stream collecting my money. You know what happens when people have a great experience, don't you? They share it with their friends and family members. So my friends and family members who started saving money shared it with their friendly family members who then they would send to my website and they would pick the service they wanted, the service provider, the promotional discounted rate, and now my customers were helping me get customers even without me having to pay my customers to do it. Isn't that how you help Facebook become a billion dollar entity? Isn't that how you help Twitter become a billion dollar entity? Isn't that how you help Pinterest and did Snapchat become billion dollar social media outlets? Y'all did that. And so if your influence creates income for other people, why can't it create income for you? It does if you f simply find a vehicle that you can employ in order to do that. Five Links has helped us do that. The other side of the coin was there was a couple of customers who said, well, wait a minute, you, you making money off my lights? I said, absolutely. Why shouldn't I? I helped you save a substantial amount. Why shouldn't I get a piece on the back end? And they asked, well, how do I make money? I would ask the question, if the money was right and it could fit into your schedule, would you be interested in taking a look at an income producing business opportunity, huh? Do you? <laughs> and when they said yes, I would simply get them on a phone call just like this so that someone else would explain the business so that I didn't have to. If they liked what they heard, we would send them to a 20 minute video to get all the details they needed to make a decision, we'd schedule a follow-up phone call, and if they liked what they heard, we'd help them get started, they'd save money on their own bills and their own homes, they'd start getting paid from their own bills and their own homes, we'd help set them up to get a few customers for themselves to build their own residual income, and because I got the ball rolling, I got a piece of all of that too. We started with 21 business partners in my first 30 days. It has since grown to over 500. I get paid in over 20 states. I get paid in multiple time zones. I get paid in three international currencies. And as you can see, I'm sitting in the comfort of a lazy boy recliner. Don't let nobody tell you, you don't have what it takes to make a million dollars. Look, you are going to do the work to make a million dollars. You can spread it over 40 years and finance someone else's dream, or you can jam pack it in the first two to three years so that you can live the rest of your life living for a living versus working for a living. Now, I know I haven't given you enough information to make a decision. That wasn't even my objective. My goal was to help you recognize there is a real business for real people making real money using a real opportunity to change other people's real lives who haven't given up on their real dreams and if they're willing to do a little real work they can live the life that they've always dreamt about the time for you is now it is very rare when opportunity meets preparation which is the prelude to success usually we find out about a good opportunity after it's been a good opportunity your opportunity is here. It is now. The question is, are you open-minded, success-oriented, money-motivated, highly ambitious and coachable? Or have you already decided to die? Have you already, already buried your dreams? Have you already just decided to kind of relax into the current situation? Have you given up the hope that you could live the life that you used to talk to your friends about? Have you given up? If you've given up, then I'm so sorry. We can have your funeral arrangements completed by this afternoon. But if for the rest of you, you haven't given up and you recognize that every time you open up your eyes, it's heaven's permission for you to chase your dreams 
down, then this is the call for you. It is Tenacious Thursday, and it is designed for those of you out there who are tenacious and refuse to give up, refuse to give in, refuse to lay down, refuse to live by somebody else's mercy because you were born to do more than pay bills. If that's the kind of personality you are, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Ray Hendrickson, soon to be senior vice president. But look, I want to make a huge recommendation. There's some information you need to see. You need to see exactly what we do. You need to see exactly how we do it. You need to see the simplicity at which we make this money. And we put together a video that's going to answer 95% of the questions that most people will have. Go see it. Go see it today. Surely you either want to save money or you want to make money. Determine after you've seen a video which one you want. And we can help you in tall order. The number 5 L I N X as an X-ray, P A Y S as in Sally, M as in money, E as in Edward.com. Five links pays me. Go take a look. Only intelligent response is I've seen it, I want to save money, or I've seen it, I want to make money. Get back with the person who in introduced you to this call. We'll develop a series of next steps and we'll help we'll help you launch your business so that we can help you get to your financial freedom. With your permission, I want to do something very special. I've been driving, I've been traveling with probably the wealthiest person that you'll meet in this calendar year, former chief attorney for Black Entertainment Television. In addition to that, he was responsible for the largest acquisition in the history of TV media. He was the person that allowed Bob Johnson, through this deal, to become a three billionaire. He had a law practice for 16 years, a title company, not one but two restaurants, and 13 properties. Made an awful lot of money. But he said he was spending more time away from his family than he ever anticipated. He said, Ray, I didn't get married to spend 16 hours a day away from my wife with people that I don't like. I didn't get married to have other people raise my children so that I could watch them grow up in pictures and on social media. I didn't have that. That wasn't my objective. So when I saw this business, I saw a way where I could buy back my time an hour at a time in his first 90 days made 100 grand. Sold everything. Law practice, the title company, the two restaurants, the 13 properties. He said, if I can make 100 grand doing this part time, maybe I could make my first million doing it part time. Shot to the top of the compensation plan, became a certified seven figure earner in three years. Now he's a best selling author. He's a motivational speaker on par with no one else. And I'm going to tell you, this guy's benevolence is larger than Empire State Building. He literally travels from state to state trying to identify people who haven't given up. And I think that's why I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. Because aside from knowing 100% of what it takes to succeed in business, he's had an awful lot of success in a very short amount of time. And he spends all of his time helping others achieve the caliber of success that he's, that he's achieved. And he's willing to help you. Where do you find people like that? And he's having a world-class time doing it. As we travel from state to state, it helps me to realize, even though he's extremely accomplished, he has the heart of a child. He laughs every chance <laughs> he gets. And I'm telling you, it's nothing like making money, having fun, and changing lives. So without any further ado, it is my esteemed honor to introduce to some and present to others top producing, top money earning, the record breaker himself, the man, the myth, and the legend, platinum senior vice president, soon to be double platinum, Thomas the Maestro Felder. My yes, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Uh, there's a light behind me, so let me see if I can swing around here. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. Hang on. Trying to put that light in your eyes. How's that? I want to say good afternoon to everybody. I'm grateful that you guys are joining us today. Uh, we're here in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, it's bad enough that I have a job that I can't keep up with the days of the week. I can't keep up with the months or the years. And now because I'm traveling, I got to ask where I am. I'm grateful to my good friends, Mariko Turner and Ray the Sensei Hendrickson. They hit the road with me. You got a lot of friends who they say they'll help you. They'll say they'll be there. But when it, it's time to when the rubber meets the road, they're nowhere to be found. You ever had those friends who when you have the game party, they come over and they eat your chips and your pizza and your your soft drink. 
But when it's time to move, they're nowhere to be found. You know those kind of friends? You got the friends when everything is going great in your house, they're, they're right up under you. But when it's time to sort of file bankruptcy or got a court case or some sort of funeral in the family, they're nowhere to be found. I am so grateful that I don't have fair weather friends. I got friends, like I said yesterday, that stick closer than a brother. The Bible says that David said about Jonathan, he said, the love that I have for Jonathan is even greater than the love of that of a woman. He was trying to explain, I have never seen friendship like this before. We are on a journey, ladies and gentlemen, to get rich or die trying. And as long as I don't have to hurt you or take away from you or break you down to be built up and to become financially free, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to run as hard as I possibly can. One or two things are going to happen. I'm either going to be on this runway and you're going to see me take off or I'm going to die on the runway. And if, I'm serious about that. So people ask me, they say, why don't we just do everything that we do via the internet? Yeah, I do that sometimes. I take off five months at a time to be home with my family and, and I build my business over the internet. But it's nothing like showing up. I think G.I. Joe says half the battle is showing up. And I understand that when I show up in people's cities and people's towns, and, and you guys, sometimes I stay at your houses instead of staying at a hotel. I understand that showing up brings, breathes life into people's business. It breathes life. Don't you know that Lazarus in the Bible, he died? And Lazarus' sister said to Jesus, had you shown up, my brother would not have died. And Jesus says, yeah, I didn't show up when you wanted me to, but I'm here now and I have the ability to resurrect him. And had I not been gone when you didn't want me there, you would not have known that your business and your opportunity can come back to life. So yeah, I believe in the Lazarus principle. I believe that a few committed people showing up can make all the difference in the world. I believe that Ray Hendrickson, when he does a presentation for many of you or a three-way call, can breathe life back into your business. I believe that Mariko Turner, when he gets on all of these calls and all of these trainings and, and travels the miles with us, that he can breathe life back into your business. And what kind of leader would I be if I stayed at home and left these two wonderful men to run the road for you and your family? What kind of leader would I be? I'd lead from the front. If a bullet's got to be taken, it's got my name on it. If something's gonna go down, I'm here. I'm not one of those guys hiding out in the bushes and only show up when everything is going right. I've seen enough of those leaders leave our company. I've seen them. When everything was great and they were doing 60, 70, 80, 90 thousand dollars a month, they were right here. When the company went through some changes and we offered some different products, we had a minor dip in our income. When your income went from 60 thousand a month to 30 thousand a month, those jokers were gone. Poof, they disappeared. But I'm telling you, God rewards the people who are faithful. He rewards the, those of us who sort of go through the storm. And, and happy days, I'm happy to say, are here again. The sun is shining. We're in the only business that I know of that you can complain about a $30,000 a month. I, w I know doctors and lawyers that wish they could complain about a $30,000 a month. Yes, sir. But I'm telling you, this business rewards it. Because no, you don't have to go to school for eight years or nine years and accumulate a hundred or two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars worth of debt. We are in a business that we can help anybody see a six-figure income, anybody. But part of it, like I said before, is showing up. And that's why we go from city to city and from state to state. So I'm in uh, Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. And today we're gonna do a presentation. I'll give you the address when I'm done. I'll give you the address. So you guys are welcome to show up at the event in Louisville. Two days from now, I will be in Tallahassee, Florida. Two days after that, Orlando. Two days after that, I will be in Miami slash Fort Lauderdale. And then we're going to hit Georgia. We're going to hit um, Atlanta, Georgia. And we're also going to hit uh, somewhere near Augusta, Georgia. And then we're coming to Huntsville, Alabama. So we're coming. we're coming where you are. You want to ask questions, you want to sort of say you saw me on a video, you saw me on the internet, but now you want to look me in my eyes and know we the truth, we the truth. And speaking of eyes, I was driving and 
I was a little bit irresponsible while I was driving and I didn't change my contacts the way I was supposed to. And I got a little bit of an eye infection. You see that? But I didn't make an excuse. I, I'm going to stay on this thing until it's done. I don't make excuses. I don't know how to. When we were driving, a deer jumped out in front of our car. A deer. I swerved so I didn't hit the deer. And the deer jumped right into the hood of the man next to us and took the front of his car off. And that happened on this trip. So yeah, there's some, there's some jeopardy when we travel. I ain't to the point yet that we got our private helicopter and our private jet, but it's coming. But these are the ways that you sort of earn your stripes. I believe the universe and God looks at you and says, are you worthy? Are you ready? And are you determined? Because if you're willing to be faithful over the little things, the Bible says, I will make you ruler over much. So some of y'all got to be faithful in the little things. You got to go the extra mile with the little things. You got to show up in your own hometown. You got to show up when somebody's on the stage presenting an opportunity for you. So one day they'll be coming to see you. There's no shortage of opportunity in my business. There's room and space for every single person who is listening to this presentation or watching this presentation to make a million dollars. I mean, I'm not just talking about a million dollars over your lifetime, but there's room and space enough for all of us to make a million dollars a month. And if y'all just want to sit on the sidelines and watch me do it, then so be it. But for those of you who are committed and determined and willing to build capacity, willing to have intensity and willing to have tenacity, we're going to get you to the other side of this money. I know that life is, is not promised to all of us. Many of us on this line, we might not be here tomorrow. We might not live to see our 70 or 80th birthday. Life is fleeting. You know, it's like a puff of smoke, Solomon says. But I want to tell you that as long as I'm here, I want to leave a life print, a life print. You know what I mean? You know, like if I touch something with my finger, my finger will leave a fingerprint. If I walk on the beach and, and I don't have shoes on, I'll probably leave a footprint. They say that they can scan your eyes and get your eye print or check your blood and get your, your blood type or get your DNA print. And I think all of us on this call, God calls us to do something special and unique that only we can do. We have a special calling on our life. And that special calling on our life is called our life print. If you die and nobody's missing you, if you die and, and there's no vacuum that, that is now open because you're gone, that means that you haven't contributed. You were born to be more than just your boss's mule. You were born to be more than just a man's sort of arm piece or a woman's sort of provider. You were born to make impact in this world. And I don't know about you, but I plan on leaving so much impact that they'll have to take two holidays to celebrate the impact that we've had. And if you want more in life, you got to give more. You got to give more of yourself. Some of y'all, you don't want to give nobody nothing. And if you don't give nobody nothing, if you don't open up your hand for something to come out of it, God can't put something in it. Ray Hendrickson has said to me lately, and I love the saying, he says to me that so many of us, we hold on to the familiar and we won't let it go. But if we had just opened up and let the familiar go, God can put the phenomenal into our hands. So what are you going to choose today? Familiar or phenomenal? I'm excited, everybody. I want to give you the chance. I'm building, I'm building another leg to my business. I'm building another leg to my business. If you're on this webinar and nobody has invited you on it, there's no team member anywhere in the Five Links family that has invited you to join and you want a mentor, call me. I love to run with you. It is my hope that between now and Las Vegas that we put 1,000 new people into this business. 1,000 new people in this business, and we will support those people. We will train those people, and we're going to make sure that they can be an independent rep. That means give them enough to win. Don't leave them on the, on the island stranded. If you want to be one of those 1,000 new people who are coming into our business, I'm going to give you my phone number. If you're a business owner and you don't want to join our business, that's okay. I'll invest in you even if you don't invest in us. So if you're a business owner and you want to buy new products, you want to hire new people? You want more money for payroll? Contact me. I'll give you the money. How about that? 
I want to be your shark tank. God has blessed us with some money. We're going to dole it back out. If you need money for the church, y'all need new pews, you need new carpeting, call us up. We got money for nonprofits as well as profit, profitable companies. We want to invest in you. And as you grow, we can grow together. We have got to create 1,000 brown skin millionaires. It's nation building time. We are creating a financial revolution, the likes of which this country has never seen. We can do it together. We're going we're gonna to sort of pull our eggs together so we got a whole basket of people who are financially free. My children are not the only ones who deserve to go to private school. Your children deserve to go to private school. My children and my families are not the only ones that deserve to eat organic non-GMO foods. You deserve it too. And you know that that tap water that you're drinking got sodium fluoride in it. It's got pharmaceuticals in it. It got BPHs in it. You know they're trying to kill you with the water. So yeah, I'm getting a water filter for my house. You deserve one too. We may not be able to change the world, but if we can change our homes first, then we can start turning around to help somebody else. It's like when we're on the airplane. They say, put the mask on yourself first and then help the person next to you. So we got our mask on and now we're coming to help you. Yes, we make sacrifices all along the way. We sacrifice eyes, <laughs> we sacrifice sleep, we sacrifice birthdays and, and weddings and funerals. We sacrifice so much, but you guys are worth it. And we would do it every single day of the week. So I'm going to give you my phone number one more time. Uh, if somebody knows the number, you can just type it in the feed. The number is 202-409-4456. 202-409-4456. Just text me. Just text me. Say, listen, I want to, I want to be able to sort of come with you on your, your tour. I want to see what you guys are doing. I want to take a look at the business. You can text me if you want to join my team or if you're on another team and just need support, text me. If you want to find out how to get funding for your business, because we're giving away over $100,000 a month. We're going to give it away. The Bible says give it away. Make sure it's pressed down, shaken together, and running over. We're going to give it away till there's no more money to give away. So my number's in the feed. Monica put it in there. It's 202-409-4456. Text me, text me, text me. Don't call me. Text me. Say your name, what you want, and I'll give you a call back. I promise you I'll call you myself. I don't have people. Are you with me? I'm going to give you my email address. It's run2diamond, R-U-N, the number two, diamond, at gmail.com. And I want you to take a look at the presentation. It's a 20-minute presentation that explains what we do, how we do it, and how we get paid. That website is www.5linkspaysme.com. We're looking to put five new people into our business every single day. And we're going to do that every day for the next couple of weeks. So there's the information. I'm going to sort of put it on the screen so you can see it. Let me see. There it is. It's coming. It's coming. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hang tight. So there's my phone number on the screen. There's my email address. There's a website where you can take a look at the presentation. Just text me and say what you need. I'll be happy to call you back. If you're anywhere near Louisville, Kentucky, and you don't show up tonight, then shame on you. Shame on you if you don't show up. If somebody can be kind enough, Mariko Turner, maybe type in the address where we're going to be tonight, mm -hmm. or somebody can put it on the screen. Uh, we're going to be in Louisville, Kentucky, and then we're heading to Florida. We're heading to Florida. That's the address, bro. All right? So we're going to type out the address for you tonight. We're going to be at a hair salon. Address. We anticipate... Uh, putting five or more people into the business tonight. We're anticipating having a lot of business partners, guests come out. Um, I want to help you guys. Somebody help me. Somebody gave me a new lease on life in this business. What would I be to not give you a new lease on life? When I joined this business, I was $2.1 million in debt. And because of Five Links, I've been able to pay off at least $1 million of it. That ain't a lot of money, but it ain't chump change neither. I've been in the business for four years and just about five months. My overhead has been a, a grand total of $5,200. That's about the price of one of my rims on my car. Do you not think it's worth, the, worth it to put some time, effort, and energy to have that kind of income? Most people fail in this business not because the business doesn't work. 
They fail in the business because they give up. It's like going to the gym for four weeks and say that you didn't lose any weight. How can you expect to see a difference in four weeks when it took you 40 years to put that kind of weight on? Mm. Took you 40 years to put on 50 extra pounds. You got to sort of grind through it. Y'all gave school a lot of time. You gave school four years for undergrad. You gave school another four for graduate school. And what has school done for you? I ain't got nothing against school. I went to school 21 years. My degrees got degrees. But let me ask you a question. Are you financially free because of those degrees that you have? Or are you now in more debt than you have ever been in? Can you imagine where you, have, where you, where you would be if you took the $100,000 that you spent for your education and invested that in Google? Invested that in Apple? Invested that money in Microsoft? You can buy the university had you done that. But nobody ever tells you that. Rich people don't send their kids to school to get degrees. They send them to school to get a network. So that while you are looking for a job, they can make a phone call and get the job. We are going to, to uh, jobhunter.com, monster.com, hookabrotherup.com. I'm telling you, a network is the way to become wealthy. And in my network, I have 250,000 people in my network. You want to write a book and sell a book? Be a part of the network. That's how we have a, the number one bestseller in the entire country, because I got a network. You want to do a, have a hair salon or a makeup business or do nails? Be in a network with 250,000 people who are telling everybody about how excellent you are. You want to be the number one motivational speaker in the country? Be a part of a network of 250,000 people that are sharing your name everywhere. You want to drop a CD, write an album, open a business, an uh, old folks home? You want to open a restaurant? Have a network. That's what we got. And I tell you what, if you join my network, my network becomes part of your network. And so overnight, you become part of 250,000 people who are determined to be financially free. And we turn money around in our network. You know, in the average brown skin community, a dollar doesn't even do a backflip. A dollar in our, in our community, it's flipping 20, 30 times it's flipping. There's a dollar flipping right over there. There's a, whoa, there's a hundred flipping over. Listen, we're going to flip this money until all of our faces are on $20 bills. Not just Harriet Tubman. Because we in this room and many of us on this line are committed to helping other brown people be financially free. Are y'all with me? You're right, Claudette. Quitting is not an option. So tonight we're going to be at the Picture Perfect Salon, 1987 in Brownsboro Road uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm going to put it on the screen. Somebody put in the feed. For those of you who are on the call, I said it for you so you can hear it. We're going to be at the Picture Perfect Salon, 1987 Brownsboro Road, Louisville, Kentucky, 40206. I'm bringing my A game. It's at 7 o'clock. I'm bringing my A game. It's already in the bag. I pack my A game, so it's always with me. Well, everybody, this is Thomas Felder, Platinum Senior Vice President for the awesome and incredible Team TNT. On behalf of myself, my good friend Ray Hendrickson, we're in the home of Mariko Turner's parents. She's over there. Say hello, Mariko. Hey. <laughs> On behalf of all of us, to all of you, we look forward to world. If not at the beach, at the bank. But more importantly than any beach or any bank, we look forward to seeing you at the gates of the kingdom. For what would it profit any one of us to gain the whole world and to lose our own soul? I am so thankful for what God has done for us in this business. I'm thankful for an incredible wife who supports me with her care, with her prayers, with her time, her effort, and her energy, I'm grateful to her. I'm grateful for my children that allow daddy to run the road for people that they have never met. But more importantly, y'all, I'm thankful to God that we got a chance to sow a seed. And I'm looking forward to creating 1,000 brown skin millionaires over the next five years. The question is, will you be one of them? If you will be, let me know. If you need help, let me know. We love to run with you. Until I meet you and greet you, walk with the King today and be a blessing, this call, this webinar, whatever you are listening to me on or watching me on is officially over. God bless. We'll see you all tomorrow. Same time, same station. It's over.